Hey, it's Sam here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm back in the zone and today's arms day. But as last time I focused on biceps, this is going to be more triceps focused and I'm going to include some exercises that you haven't seen for a while. So stay with it for the full arms workout. Stay with it for some variety and we'll wrap it up at the end. I'm going to get warmed up now and we're starting on some close grip pressing heavy. Hey, you're right, how's it going? <laughs> so I really like this bar for the close grip press. The only thing about it is it's a little bit wobbly. It's a little bit harder to stabilize, but I'm really feeling the triceps more with this thing than doing it on the Smith machine that I was doing previously. So I love this thing. Quite a lot of reps there, but I'm not gonna crank up the weight, so I am working on my own and safety first. So I'll get my breath back and then hit up set two. I actually forgot how good this thing is, but it's so wobbly, you have to be careful. It's like an untamed beast. That's better. Also, because it's so thick, the bar itself, you have to be a little bit more careful that you're getting it back on the, on the hooks all right, because the, uh, the hook's actually a little bit small for it. So if you encounter this, this bad boy, I think it's made by Watson actually, if you find it on your travels, heed my warnings. But that felt so good that I'm gonna add a touch more for set three cancel what I said after set one. I feel stable enough now. I think acclimatized. I can rack on a bit more for set three. Because <laughs> no one uses this thing. It's actually still really tight on the collars, on the bar. But one of you kindly looked up for me how much this bar weighs, because I think it's a little bit more than an Olympic bar. But I've forgotten how much the bar weighs, and it's just a bit more and I'll be uh, two and a quarter plates on it for set three. Yeah. Here goes, a bit heavier then. Yep. Okay, last one. And it might not be the quickest with these stiff collars, but I feel like I really want a drop set.
forgot how good that one is. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm just waiting for the next bit of kit, so I thought I'd have a little chat with you here. I have to say, that exercise, I can feel it in my triceps like ridiculously already. I feel like one tougher exercise done like that with all the sets to failure and a drop set is better than meandering around a little bit of everything and not hitting it. I just feel like if the triceps was that horseshoe there, that was the hammering it, you know, just real nice. So I'm definitely going to keep that in the rotation. It's been a while, I forgot just how much I can feel like in the triceps and how challenging it feels. So I noticed that was a lot more stable from set two onwards. It's very unusual using that bar if you haven't for a while. So I want to hit all the sets like the last three. So I think I should make that a regular occurrence. Next up, I'm going with the cross cable tricep extensions. Not one that I use so often as I find it you know, hard to really put the effort in and feel it, but I want to show a variety of exercises and I'm coming back to it just a touch heavier. So, set one. Some people think that this one targets more the long head of the triceps. Honestly, I find it hard to feel that. I feel that more in overhead extensions personally, but see what you think. It's definitely working the triceps because it's extension at the elbow. Here we go again then. Always be careful you don't get your fingers caught when you do this sort of thing. You know, I was so up for coming to the gym tonight. It's really getting in the mood listening to music before I come out. Just pure old school brutality. First two suffocation albums, first two deicide albums, basically roadrunner records before they sissied out the whole thing. Just so so in the zone for it today. So I'm back in zone, my nearest gym. These, I don't feel like I need so much rest for, so I should just get on with set three now. And last one. in a different way to the last one. So this one being a unilateral movement, it's not letting my stronger right side bring the whole thing along. It's making sure my left arm keeps up with things. Most of us have this strength and development imbalance, you see, so for most of us, we're gonna include something, arms working separately, legs working separately. Next up, we've got the Life Fitness Arm Extension Machine. Now, they're calling it an arm extension, but you might as well kind of think of it as a 
machine skull crusher because it's that kind of movement where you're pressing in that sort of arc on your head kind of a bit downwards but not as downwards as you would on a, a push down so usually to get a variety of angles on the triceps and a mixture of emphasis between three heads I'll do something extending above something skull crusher angle maybe a close grip and a push down and there's so many options within each of those categories that if you just sort of pick one from each category and work hard you're getting full triceps coverage but as I said near the start if you were to do one of the harder ones full force it's not like it's only hitting one head of the triceps it's just how much of a proportion of emphasis is in which area so if you do one of the more difficult exercises really hard that's better than all of it half assed you know so set one on these If you want this sort of exercise, this sort of angle on triceps but you don't have a machine just like this, you can obviously do those skull crushers lying flat on a bench with a barbell, we all know that one, but with dumbbells it's really good as well and i found more lately that with elbows getting a little bit achy on the barbell version, I found it more manageable with the dumbbells so some of you may find that useful to try in the absence of a machine like this. love it arms training in that video the other day I was talking about all the different kind of body part splits that you can do for organizing your training and it's kind of how you're getting on with arms that can actually be the make or break decision around it because I was talking about the the modern push-pull legs which I think is a great idea but it's kind of like how much work your arms need you know that may dictate whether that's a good idea or not. I'd say like the one, the one risk with that push pull legs thing, if your arms are not like a strong point or they're more priority or they're lagging or whatever, is that they never get done like first in the, in the workout system in that, in that split. So they can like remain lagging for a while. I mean, that's fine if you're sort of gonna fix it later and change the split later, but it's just something to keep in mind that the state of your arms could be the decision maker on whether you do like a push pull legs or some different variation or some blend or some body part split you know anyway I feel like I can hurry things along by keeping the camera here for one last set set I mean drop set crank out a few more Hit 
thumbs up if you think I've trained hard enough today, guys. And any questions about arms or anything else, just pop it in the comments and we'll be talking. But I'm going to pick one more exercise on triceps, then think about the rest of my arms. And I'm already totally drenched in sweat and out of breath just from those three exercises. So if you are training arms, don't think it's the easy day. I mean, you're not going to be hauling weight like legs, but you sh should still be making it hard, you know. Now I'm going to show you the last angle that I've described that we've missed, which shouldn't come as a surprise. Overhead kind of extension, and this is going to be a nice example if you don't have all the cables in the machines, you've just got the free weights, which I approve of anyway. So I'm going to show you the French press, seated. You just need one dumbbell for this. You can use any kind of bench really, but I'm just sitting in a free weights preacher bench the other way around. You just flip that up to here and extensions behind the neck. the miracle bear or whatever he's called on the on the telly up here i think he's the one that in his posing he does the worm on the stage i'm not sure how i feel about that but good physique though oh, set two And I'm gonna leave that exercise at two sets, guys, because the elbows are aching from that. And I generally recommend that if you get the wrong sort of pain, you just stop and move on to something else. So pain in the muscle, great. Joints, anywhere else, not so much. Move on, have a rethink, maybe different exercise or a different way the other times or next time. So that's good enough for that angle. When I come back to that angle on triceps, I'll be thinking about something different like the cables, so biceps time. So what I'm doing here, they sometimes call the spider curl. It's basically the same species of exercise. It's like a preacher curl of any sort. So good one if you haven't got all the different benches, just your regular incline bench that you can put on about 45 degrees, lean on it on your front and just work it with dumbbells. So you don't need that preacher curl machine either. You can get this sort of exercise just with dumbbells like this. And I can actually feel it more with dumbbells usually. I'm increasing the weight by five pounds each side for set two as I've got rather a lot on reps first set there. But it varies a lot for me depending on what stage in my routine I put a certain exercise, how much I'm lifting. So anyway, set two. much better you know guys I know with the absolute biggest arms like monstrous arms 
say to me that to get the real arms you've got to absolutely hammer them so as my arms aren't a strong point anyway with these longer limbs to fill with my height I feel like I've got to really do them on my own and uh, not just rely on the compound movements to bring them up if you're more like blessed in the arm department you get great arms from doing compounds alone in some cases but for the standout ones these absolute arms monsters they are saying to me that you have got to absolutely hammer arms so I'm not going to take too much rest for set three here it's one of my favorite bicep exercises this actually Right, this last one here, I'm going to smash them with a drop set because, as I was saying, it's my favourite exercise and I think it isolates the biceps real good for me. I'm going to make the most of it. I've got them ready. Dropping 40 pounds each to 20 pounds each. It's a ludicrous pump. I can vouch for that as an exercise in a drop set. And you should all have access to dumbbells, so go for definitely. Definitely that one's the one. That was that one. And probably the last set on the close grip press has been my favourites for the day, I think. Okay guys, we're finishing it old school on this night of triceps obliteration and biceps devastation with barbell curl. You all know it. You all know how it goes. My sleeves feel fuller than when I left the house earlier. What's that? This is like the, the stretchy material, so, you know, there's, there's no end to the potential gains that could be contained in this thing. <laughs> Just amusing myself. Nearly done with the workout, so. I'm feeling cheerful. It always perks me up to come in here and work hard, you know, so, sort of. Happy to convey that really, because some of you are newer to training and but, uh, maybe don't see the point of it, but it's definitely a well-being thing as well as turning into a monster thing. <laughs> All you guys that like your, your good form, this one's for you because I'm going to film it from the side and you're going to see just how much I'm swinging because it is a bit of a cheat curl I'm finishing on here. So you're going to love this.
you know, like pretty much everyone that's famous for having great arms has done loads of cheek curling in bad form. Does that make you stop and think? <laughs> All right, I'm just messing, it's just banter. I'm in my hauling iron happy place, so just allow it really. Last one, I promise. Last one, and then we can have a sit down and a serious chat about something helpful. Done. <sighs> May as well take the opportunity to see how they're looking. That's a abnormally pumped on that workout. to do more of these because I always forget to create a thumbnail for the for the video clips so you know hopefully that'll suffice and that's the workout segment done and uh, I'm always meeting people making friends while I'm doing these videos it's been quite an adventure and I was just talking to someone in my gym here who asked if I do a YouTube channel and uh, looked it up there and then he was explaining to me that he's got a channel for Koi Carp explaining how you how you build all the tanks and deal with your koi carp and all the stuff to do with, with koi. So, you know, if you want to know about the fish that look really good and, and uh, are cool, as well as the macros of all the ones you eat, you know, get in touch and I'll, I'll hook you up. So, so uh, that, was my, that was my pleasant conversation of the day. And I really enjoyed that workout. I'm really established in the exercises that I can at least feel the most in the target muscle. So that was a selection of them today and hopefully a bit of useful advice about which exercises are similar and which you could switch in depending on what kit you've got access to in your local gym or nearest bodybuilding gym or even home gym because we talked a lot about dumbbells recently and I showed a couple of examples and described some switch around with dumbbells today. So hopefully that's of interest. But if you like the daily videos, and that I'm covering all bodybuilding topics here, please consider subscribing. It helps me help more people because it keeps my channel further reach. So if you think any of my videos are helpful to anyone, it's, um, it's useful to get those subscriptions and it helps me target my content a little bit more when I hear from you in the comments because sometimes I pick a topic that's come up more than once to feature in the chats at the end of the workouts like this or even their own standalone videos like the dumbbell ones but if you're new some of the most important stuff I can point you to if you're if you're stuck or wondering what's most important and how to figure out what to do would be the one recently called like planning the bulking diet it was, uh, it was a delts shoulder stay one, maybe a week ago. And it said like planning bulking diet or diet, diet for gains. And I'm sat down at the end explaining all of the figures that you need to play with to set a diet up, diet up if you're not working with a coach and a little bit about how you track that. But then I have another video called like bodybuilding measurement protocols revealed and that's about how you track it week on week. So gradually I am building a library here of all the information that you need to basically coach yourself so you know if you support me you're helping me get that out to all the people that don't have the means or or the contacts for a for a good coach for getting their bodybuilding going and um yeah it helps helps me help more people which i'm i'm really enjoying and hearing about from some of your stories in the comments and privately so everyone that has made mention of these sorts of things so thank you very much 
and I've got loads of interesting stuff coming up. So this weekend in bodybuilding is the Arnold Classic. So that's the main one, the Arnold Classic in Columbus, Ohio, isn't it? But the, <laughs> the rematch for a lot of these guys is the Arnold Classic UK, which is in the middle of next month. I think the, the weekend of like the 16th, 17th of, um, of March, like over here. And I'm planning to attend that, so that's that's going to be featured in the videos. If you, you know, if you're part of the American audience and you want to see like a very real um, document vlog of of the event over in the UK, that'd be um, that'd be worth looking out for. And I'm waiting for more meet and greets at Zone Gym. So at Zone Gym, I've done uh, the Dorian Yates one, the Ronnie Coleman. So I've met Dorian and and Ronnie here at the gym. We were going to have uh, Derek Lunsford, current Mr. Olympia, but that's, that's been cancelled. But there are other very high profile bodybuilders potentially going to come here this year, which I'll be making sure to get down and talk to and ask all the useful questions, you know, the ones, the ones that are going to help with your progress and your training, that sort of thing. Because I kind of with a lot of these pros, these guys that are really good, what I want to know is like what they were doing when they made most of their progress. Because like a lot of them, they look a little bit better each year or there's better or worse versions of them. But it'll be a period of like two or three years where they really like transformed and got to the, you know, the real, the real peak of what they're capable of. And it's what they were doing during that kind of phase that I'm interested in, not just like the current routine, the latest routine, or you know, the latest contest prep and stuff like that. I want to know what they were doing when they made most of their progress. So, all of that's coming up. My post-workout meal awaits, and it's going to be more sensible than yesterday. I'm not going to have the cheat meal and macros, so I'm just going to go for my usual like, cream of rice and white fish. It'll digest quickly, which means I'll be ready again for the final meal of the day much sooner with the, you know, the soft stuff that's easy to, uh, it's easy to digest and go straight through. So that's a little diet hack for the day. And the time's getting on, so I'm going to get on and do that. Questions to pick up, put them down below. I'll be back online tomorrow. I haven't decided what I'm training yet because I've had the injury with the toe that's healing up nicely. Depending on how I feel tomorrow, it might be time for a leg day just on isolation. So that could be a video that'd be really nice for beginners that aren't ready to squat on their own and more difficult exercises. So that's potential for tomorrow, but we'll see how we feel. But it's always a video every day. And to make that happen, I need to hit the road now. So thanks for watching this far and speak to you tomorrow. Cheers.